Hey guys, before we start our podcast, I was on a stage earlier today with uh, Tomato Man and uh, Default decided to come out, call in on that stage. Now, Default has some recent drama uh, where he uh, allegedly lied about uh, being a famous YouTube anime rapper, Daddy Fat Snaps. And I asked him a couple questions about that. So before we get into our podcast, uh, let's go to that real quick. All right, take it. Let's, let's go. That was, that was gay. Yo, Default, what's up, man? Oh. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I want to kind of fully, fully acknowledge that, yeah, I fucked it. I I'm deeply want to apologize and stuff like that. Like, Tomato Man, I, I got your joke, and you could tell that I did laugh at it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I totally just want to move on it, because I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of just... I did dumb shit, and... Yeah, I fully up. I fully kind of meant it. Yeah. For for the record, just for the record, Daddy, you are yeah. not Daddy Fat Snaps, correct? Well, there is trolls going around helping out, and if you read Savo's tweet, it was a so. Well, I'm not going to say anything, but Savo's helping with something, but I won't say. But okay, so you are Daddy Fat Snaps, then? Is that what you're saying? But. No, I want to admit, I fully want to admit to everyone that I feel kind of bad. I kind of feel awful for doing it because it was such a, like, I would really say that it was kind of me fitting in and I kind of just didn't fully say, I fully didn't want to be like, oh, he's just trying to fit in and trying to be cool, but then then get caught and then immediately you have to apologize for everything. Yeah. And that's what my, my original tweet was trying to be. It was just trying to freely, freely say I'm sorry to everyone. And if everyone just doesn't want to speak to me, yeah. I could, could freely be okay with it. Well, I don't think, I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's that big of a deal that you lied about being a YouTuber, but yeah. what, it's just you wanted to fit in with everybody else? Yeah, it's easy as me <laughs> saying it. Now, there was a, I was being told, I never actually saw you say you're Daddy Fat Snap, but there were people telling me that you would, you were saying that you were Daddy Fat Snaps, and then you would be like, yo, I'm dropping a song tomorrow, and the song would actually drop. Yeah, a lot, have, of, like, a lot of times I'd link the music. I just, I just link the, the music a lot of times. Did you have like uh, early access to his Patreon or something where you knew ahead of time? No, he, he, he put, he put, uh, he put this, he put like, what are our next song in the, the now like where the community section of of youtube yeah. is yeah. or on twitter or twitter or twitter. okay okay because gotcha. i follow twitter a lot so you're not black no i'm not i'm <laughs> wait did, wait so sandwich man was giving you and said he, you gave him the n-word pass that was a joke <laughs> i mean it, it's a funny little mistake yeah it's, nobody will care about it in like two days yeah. like look i'm gonna be honest with you wonderful. default Everybody knew you were lying, probably. Yeah, like, I, I <laughs> yeah. everybody was like, yeah, we, we don't believe him, but we're just yeah. going to wait to, like, he to this, basically, yeah. And look, and look I actually want to, I do want to correct another thing as well. Uh, Matt, I, I really don't have, have, like, much much beef with you, because I'm not trying to, like, go at you or something like that, because at the end of the day, yeah, I got hacked, I kind of really meant that, and I did, I did, I did re-correct my, my account, so I'm good. So I'm not, oh, yeah. like, well, yeah, there's yeah. no beef there. Like, look, I was look, just... look, you like, look. I get, I get, I get you warned everyone, and look, look, I get, I do get that, but I'm, I'm fully good. I'm not like, no, yeah, I, no, dude, pissed I, off I, I know for I, that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I understand you. you were just trying to warn people that don't yeah, try yeah, to contact yeah. me. Yeah, 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 because you know, it's just one of the situations. Someone's hacked. You gotta let the Discord know, like, hey, yo, this person sending suspicious links that could get you hacked, basically. But uh, yeah. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Click on House of Nudes next time, buddy. Huh? Yeah, I get that. Man. <laughs> I get free, that. Buddy. But... Come on. <laughs> uh, look, default. You've always seemed like a nice guy to me, man. I, I got no yeah. issues with you whatsoever. But I wanted to ask one other thing. Do you have any comments yeah. on my late, my drops of the flam, me and Flam, the stuff between me and Flam? Oh yeah, that was pretty i mean that was funny like uh it was pretty funny how you just kind of like roasted him out of nowhere like what'd you say like your hair if you, well if fake? you go through my thre- if you go through i dropped a thread on my if you go through my twitter and go yeah. through the rest of the replies 
a lot of it does lead to like where we're arguing and it is like he's he made like he pulled some stuff and then all of a sudden today nick drops a thread of flam and it's eerily and there's stuff in it that's eerily to me that's eerily yeah. to my convo with them yeah now let me ask you this default you uh the first screenshot you sent me in my dms there's a uh you're sending a gut song called uh pressure uh is that's that a- an, that's a song that it's a song that i that i found that i th- felt like oh it's an old song it's an old it's a, that's a that's from a while back and i was sending music when i used to be like into when i used to watch flam stream and yeah. then and then it was just like a song i saw him and recommended and i was like i was interesting song it was a good song and he and flam usually like like rock stuff so i usually i just sent it to him so okay. I was just being nice. Okay, and so that wasn't like that wasn't like a Daddy Fat Snap song or anything. Or no, whatever. it's an old. It's okay. another artist. It's another artist I kind of follow that I like, and I just saw saw that as a recommended and wanted to give it to Flam as something. Yeah. And then it's also, work. he tries to contact me. Yeah, I got you. Uh, all right. Well, now recording. Welcome everyone, and now recording. What the and fuck, I'm... Matt? Hi, Toxic. You're actually I'm like, here. I'm like Holy dying shit. for a week, and you're still trying to do that. Can I do the intro, you bitch? Yeah, sure. Go for bastard. it. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Now Recording. I'm Toxic, not dead. Unfortunately, we're not joined by our fur, fur fag friend, Beavers, but we do have the technical back to back Fireball 3 winner, or Fireball winner. Yeah, Matt Pitt. Almost back to back. Hello. Technically. Uh, so how close did you come to dying, Toxic? Um, dying? It depends on if some other events were taking place. Then I would have had a higher chance. But um, also we have our gay producer, Core. Hi. Hi. Anyway, uh, dying? I didn't yeah. really come that close. Um, <sighs> you want to just do like a brief rundown of like everything? Okay, I'll, I'll ask questions and then we can run. Right. You do the run. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad was it? Um, over for me specifically, for you like, specifically, like your area, like, um, I say about a six. Really? Uh, so when you walked out of your house, was there like, was it hell? Like, uh, was there shit everywhere? Was there flooding? Was there like any crazy shit going on? It was flooding. Yeah. You couldn't, there's literally, you couldn't leave or enter the city. Like it was just blocked off by water. No, they wouldn't be let anybody leave or come in. Because I'll be honest, I was worried about your computer. <laughs> like, are you on like well, a two? Are you on the two story or something? No, I um, <clears throat> I unplugged everything and uh, yeah. Well, I mean, but our, flooding can come into our house, the house. Yeah, no, no, I didn't come in the house. Yeah, but um, yeah, there's a lot that could have went wrong, but it didn't. I got really lucky. <laughs> yeah, could have been horrible. So let's, let's break down the timeline. All right, let me see if I can remember. Uh, what were we doing the night before the hurricane? Um, I was watching a bunch of stuff before I thought I was going to die. Um, yeah. I remember DMing you said I was like shitting myself because I don't know what a hurricane is. I don't know what to expect. But yeah. um, what was I? It was Tuesday night was the night before. Um, right. Did anyone go live Tuesday night? I, I uh, remember talking about you on a stage, like kind of giving the breakdown of the situation. I saw you did a hurricane stage like Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, and I was trying to see. I, I remember Dave, Dave stream yeah. Tuesday. So okay, I do remember now. You got zip zap to follow you on Twitter. That I, was like the that last was that day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the night before you got. Oh yeah, because I said I yeah yeah I told her um, what she followed me to save me from the hurricane, and it worked. I'm not dead. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. zip zap. Exactly. So it was like the 28th, right? It was on the yeah, that was the Wednesday. 20th was the Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, so I put out, I remember on the 27th, I put out a, uh, a tweet. I asked for your approval that said, yo guys, make sure to keep talking to people up in your thoughts. That hurricane is coming right towards him. Let's just say now recording might be on a break, give or take how this goes. Was that the 27th? Uh, for me, yeah. Yeah, it says the 27th. Do I have my days messed up? I don't know. But I'm still talking to you regularly right now. So it, the uh, I'm like, your power hadn't gone out yet. Yeah, Wednesday was the day. It was like, Wednesday yeah. night was whenever it hit. Because I asked you, how bad is it looking? Is it coming right for you? And you said it's heading straight for your city. 
which just right. got evacuated. Well, it's heading, I don't want to say the city. I don't know if this is your city or not, but it's heading straight for a major city. And you said it got evacuated and uh, you just moved. You can say there, Tampa, I don't care. But not too far from Tampa. Still never experienced a hurricane, so I'm low key shitting myself. Yeah. And, uh, because, okay, I was, it was before my power went out. I was like watching the news of it, right? And they do not do a good job. Like, um, they like freak people out, but at the same time, they like make people calm about it because they have people out there standing in it. I'm like, what is yeah. wrong with this? I yeah. So on the, t- the 28th, you asked me if there are any good streams. So we're still talking regularly. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're talking about Hypercat and Nerdy John. Uh, we're talking about the premiere. I guess we're, we were just. Oh, oh yeah, we uploaded. were just premiering the uh, upload. And I told you to release it. Uh, so I say I'm cool with just release, and then I guess I'll... yeah, because I couldn't be there for the premiere anyway. So right. So I guess like uh, a little while after that, I said you're alive. You said currently, uh, and I asked. Well, I actually asked you scale one to ten. How bad is your situation? Yeah, you didn't give me a number. You said currently it's just windy. The hurricane is literally moving under ten miles per hour. Just saw people in my God, neighborhood so picking slow. up their car and leaving. Power flickering. Friend. Uh, friend thirty. Power flickering. Friend, thirty miles south of me is getting one hundred thirty miles per hour gusts, uh, and it's heading north. Yep. Uh, and I asked if you had a plan, and you said not really. And I was no, like, I oh, oh well, shit, you, <laughs> you want? I asked if you wanted to come on stage and give a few words because that, yeah, we were doing a stage about you, and you said uh, I would, but my signal keeps going out. So this is when shit yeah. was starting to go down. Yeah, it was uh, fucking with our signal. It was so yeah. annoying. And I asked if your roommates were worried. You said yes, and. Uh, I said needles made a needle said he made a blood sigil for you, and I think it I worked appreciate out. That. He helped yeah. out too. Yes. Yeah. Um, I checked in on you again later, and I said you still alive. You said yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I, 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 then, uh, you know me. I started talking to you about the podcast. Uh, like you didn't bleep out yeah, this thanks, word, Matt. by the way. Good job. And, um, yeah. I was just trying to like keep you distracted, and I say, how bad is the storm? He said, power's out. Winds are strong as fuck. Haven't gotten to the eye yet. I went out there earlier, and I almost fell. Well, and I said, you'll never yep. get to the eye talk. Good joke. Uh, you said the storm is moving at eight miles per hour now. Still haven't gotten to the eye. Apparently after the eye, it's what's bad. And uh, I keep, I keep, and this is where I said, I keep waiting for good news and you're killing me. Uh, yeah, I didn't really help out with that later either. Yeah. And he said, you said, this isn't going to be over until like Friday at the earliest. And I said, fuck. Uh, you said, uh, can I say uh, Myers? Can I say Fort Myers? Yeah. Uh, Fort Myers is like nine feet of water and it's still going. And I said, oh, they got it the worst. Yeah. And you, uh, you say how far you are from there. And I said, while you're in a hurricane, we are in our own. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But, um, I tried <laughs> to k- catch you up with some other stuff at some point you couldn't load like, uh, anything except random messages. Um, I eventually like, I just couldn't load discord at all. So yeah. like, it would be like once every two days, I just replied to everyone and then it would go out again. Yeah. So Twitter was like the only thing that was working okay. for me. Twitter and Spotify. <laughs> All right. So there's something that happened with you. Uh, and I don't know if you want to go into detail about this. Uh, yeah, we can. Okay. So you DM me and you say, yeah, there's a fire. Okay. In the middle of this. And I said, wait, what? And you said, person <laughs> next to us caught house on fire and we might have to run. And at that yeah. point I was like, All right, well, now we're going to go. <laughs> like, this is it. Like, so what, what happened? It caught fire. Yeah. So we, we got a text saying that um, there was a report that the house near us was on fire and we went out there to go look and it was. Um, so meanwhile, I find this out. I like run in my room. I'm like, oh God, this is it. I'm about to lose everything because the wind was um, like going towards our house and it was like slowly spreading. So thank God it shifted because yeah. there was this, um, I'll get to that in a minute. But I went in my room and I was just looking around. It's like, oh my god, I'm about to lose everything because I have like a whole bunch of stuff from like throughout my life that uh, people from my family that's like dead now that I've gotten from them. And I was like, oh my god, I'm about to lose this. I'm about to lose this. My computer, like yeah. all my game stuff I've collected, and <laughs> it was gonna suck. Um, but eventually the wind actually did shift, and it was looking like it was gonna go to someone else's house. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> What was there? It's terrible. What, but what about the? Did you have a plan to like grab your computer or something, and put it in the car maybe or something like that? Was there's there, no was way it, we was driving out of that. Not no, <laughs> not just fucking put it in the car and keep it in the car. 
Uh, that was not the plan, though. Because me and Honestly, Core were talking. I, me and Core were talking about this in his voice chat. He's like, he's got to grab the computer. He's gonna grab the computer. He's not dumb. He's gonna. Grab I wasn't. It. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was literally. Right. I had my phone. I had. Uh, I grabbed a hoodie because well, I, I don't know why. I couldn't think straight. Um, I grabbed something. I didn't even have my wallet. <laughs> I didn't grab anything. Fuck, all right. So how the fuck does a fire start in a hurricane? Um. So. They still don't know how it happened, but what they think happened is like the the power pole or whatever snapped, and it fell, and it was still yeah. like active or something. I don't know. They originally thought uh, maybe it was a candle or something, uh, maybe lightning. Did you know there's not a lot of thunder and lightning during a hurricane? I didn't know that. No, I've uh, never I've never experienced a hurricane. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like this big storm, but it wasn't. It was just wind and wind. water. Yeah, it was like um, one lightning strike I saw. And you said the fire department isn't coming because the hurricane might lose, uh, and you might lose everything if it spreads. And uh, you, you yeah, this is the most ominous thing you said. You said can't read what you're saying right now. Oh yeah, that's because right. I like have to focus whenever I reach it because I can't yeah. just like glance. Um, so, I so before everything happened, it was like saying, "Oh, the hurricane's about to hit this city. Uh, emergency services aren't um, responding to um, calls or whatever." I didn't even know that was a thing. It makes sense to an extent, but it also sounds terrible when you hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm in the purge. Um, yeah. I, somehow the police showed up. I didn't, mm-hmm. know they, I didn't think they were supposed to, but they did. They can show up, but the fire department can't. Um, so the fire was actually put out like 16, 17 hours later. Okay. Um, completely. Like, it died itself out after the building completely burned down. Like, by the rain? <sighs> yeah, I, I believe so. I don't, I don't know how it actually happened, but it was terrible. Um, I was kind of confident that there's no way fires spread in hurricanes like that. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way a fire oh, just keeps could. going and going <laughs> in a hurricane. Like, that just doesn't make any it sense. It wouldn't go out. <laughs> it, I mean, you think it would have, like, died out by... 16 hours but it didn't yeah um uh, the next day i went out there like i didn't have any damage to my house thank god um, yeah i went out there and i look and like you can just see like everything's gone but you can still see like the bathtub and you can see like a stove a dryer just random stuff and i was just like damn somebody yeah. i don't know who but somebody just lost everything Fuck. yeah so uh, we talk more about the fire, and you say it's changed winds and stuff, and eventually you go dark. Uh, I asked for an update. I, to, I tried to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah, I asked for an update. Uh, I sent you the fireball server, just in case you somehow fixed your internet. Yeah, good and timing. Then, and then fire. I sent you the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, and I think uh, I think you... Is this... Yeah, uh, is that yeah, when so, we went to Twitter? And, yeah, that's when we went to Twitter. I'll check my Twitter real quick. Something else I want to say while you pull that up, like the yeah. sounds that a hurricane makes are terrifying. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like it's the wind's going by your house. It legit, it's like a howling, like really, really loud sound. Uh, if I'm not lazy, I'll throw like a sound effect or something if I can find it. It sounds like it. Yeah. And when the wind shifted, there was like this crazy whistle sound. It's like what the fuck's going on? Oh my god. All right. So I went to Twitter and I because uh, I figured like maybe Twitter would be easier access to you or something. And I said, keep me updated if you can read this. Give me an update, bro, when you read this. Uh, you said, hurricane is over. Everywhere is flooded. And my power won't be back for a few days. And I said, but you're good? Because you kept, you kept saying, like, <laughs> hurricane's over. Everything's flooded. Power won't be out. You said all the bad things. But I'm like, hello, dude. Is your everything okay? Like, are you okay? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I'm physically fine. And there's so many power lines down. They said it could take up to a week before I get out and get power. So then I was thinking, okay, you're okay. You still haven't mentioned your fucking computer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right, but no flooding in your house or anything. Fire put out from next door. Also, now uh, now I, I, I had a tropical storm warning, but it passed. Uh, yeah. uh, and then you didn't answer me. You said you didn't answer it. You just said, so if I disappear randomly, I'm probably alive. Just had bad signal and phone died. And I said, I gotcha. Is the computer <laughs> all right, lol? Um, and I told you, I, I told him, uh, I let Salvo know that you might miss Fireball. 
And then you literally said again. So if I disappear randomly, I'm probably alive. That was me trying to send the message because it kept failing. I don't know why I was surprised. (laughs) And I was like, you already said that, lol, your signal definitely sucks, haha. Yeah. And and he's uh there was something uh something else and uh you said also this is Thursday, two forty two PM. You said also the fire just now finally put out. No oh, and then you say, Oh, never mind, it's still there and I'm like, What the fuck? Yeah, I thought uh, it was out and then like it like kinda of, it kept coming up like little embers or whatever and I was like, yeah. What the fuck? And then you wrote uh earlier, yeah, bro, the fire trucks came, looked at it and left. So they oh yeah so so they sent out at like three in the morning they sent out like this small truck just to stare at it yeah he did nothing and then yeah. he left <laughs> by the way maybe I can mention this uh breaking nine one one put aerial footage of a uh, catastrophic damage in Florida and one of them was a burning house and I was wondering like I was literally wondering if that was you because if it was uh you were living in a really nice house bro yeah no those that's not are, me. that looks like a fucking premium finally, fucking yeah place I finally saw that after the hurricane it's uh it wasn't. Yeah. Me. Yeah, I was about to be like, Toxic is rich, bro. I wish. Uh, 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 you asked me, have you seen the video of the Hooters floating down the street? Did that actually happen? That wasn't here, but it was in Fort Myers, I think. Okay. Same thing uh, with the sharks in the street. Yeah, the only one I saw, I saw the sharks in the street, and then um, this one was fake, but there was like a walrus, like like on on dry land, on the road, just like flopping around. Oh, yeah. But it was, uh, it was like from 2016 in Puerto Rico. Bro, people were hitting alligators with their car. Uh, <laughs> you told me uh last thing you heard was a power should be back monday so what was it like you went oh from like God. you went like wednesday to what monday or yeah wednesday to monday yeah so <laughs> um thursday right mm-hmm. is the first full day um and it was like that afternoon i wasn't doing anything those days like yeah. i'd go outside walk around get some fresh air that's it literally there's nothing else yeah. to do um and then like we find out that we're not getting power for like three to four days and it turns out it was like the end it was four days i was like oh my god because um we know certain people who would like know more stuff about it and they told us yeah they usually try and give a little leeway it's probably it'll probably be back in one to two days nope. yeah but that they gave me hope and i was like oh my god please tomorrow and then the next day hit oh my god still no power. how are you my phone died so many cool. times was how are you keeping cool without like air conditioning and shit? I wasn't. No. <laughs> I there woke up sweating so many times. It was uh, horrible. <laughs> so I around... remember I'm in Florida. Yeah. With the humidity and yeah. the water just there. It right. was so humid. Ugh. So around yesterday, I want to say uh, around twelve thirty nine a.m., you, me and you were talking back and forth, and I noticed you were responding very quickly. Um. And then I then I said, so like, is your internet back or something? You're responding re- faster than usual. And he said, yes, sir. Yep, and I was so. like, wait, what? Well, and by the way, you still haven't told me anything about your computer. So this is what I'm thinking <laughs> at that point. I'm thinking you're avoiding the topic because you're about to, <laughs> you're going to have to break the news to me that your computer, that your room got flooded and your computer's fucked. That's what I'm thinking. Trust me. And I would have been, I, if it was actually the, messed up, I would have told, I would have been very clear about it. By the way, fucking um, Dead on Dave yep. told me on stream w- at one point that uh, some people in Florida are going to have to wait six months to get internet. So I'm thinking, well, that's fucking great. Well, if that would have been the case, I would have been, like, defeated. I would have been yeah. like, what do I do now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, do, I, I, do you I, I, hear this toxic out of his mouth? The only thing he cares about is, is, is the like, computer. Yeah. Do is, not... is the computer okay? <laughs> No, computer, you, are, you know, no, my no, well-being no. doesn't matter. <laughs> no, Toxic have already said what he's okay. No, I know. He's talking to me. He's DMing me. I want to know about that fucking computer, and he's avoiding the topic. Okay, <laughs> what, I want to know what's does going it make? on. I I had the recordings too, so it didn't matter. This, this computer, no, okay, who's gonna well, upload he it? Exist. I, he would just give me channel permissions on his phone. But he's got to go fucking climb a tree to get da- uh, get fucking service. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that would have happened. I probably just would have like went back to Georgia or something. I was just yeah. like, fuck this, I'm out. And bought um, a laptop. Like, <laughs> shit. I have a laptop. Actually, I have a laptop. Okay, so then we're saved. Good. Well, no, that, the laptop sucks. But uh, well, <laughs> something. well, you could log in. That's all that matters. True. Yeah, we'll keep the podcast going. So, um... <laughs> How damage wise is everything starting to chill out now around you guys, or is it like really bad? Um, nothing really got like terribly destroyed here, besides, <laughs> except for my neighbor. Um, 
we we finally got i think after we got power and like after most of the water was like washed away or whatever like we're good um some things are still like the rivers are still flooded or whatever it's but everything else is getting back to normal here um like i said other parts of florida they're still fucked there's that one city where that like bridge collapsed and they're like completely shut off from the rest of the state they're fucked Damn. There's like an island or something now. Shit. Oh wow. Uh is there anything else you want to go into with the hurricane? Um I just want to say um it's st- the whole thing started for me that Wednesday morning. Yeah. And I woke up to a tornado warning. Not the best thing to wake up to. And if you know um I know we have a lot of people who listen that aren't in America. So if I'm still not lazy, I'll throw in like the sound, but the sound of like the amber alerts and the emergency alerts that come through on like iPhones and stuff. Oh my god! It's yeah, it's a, an alarm clock, but not the kind you want to hear. Yeah, uh, yeah. fucking. I've heard you know like sirens and shit and all that stuff, but uh, I I've been lucky enough to never have to live like through like a really bad tornado or storm like that. I've never so, been in a tornado either. I've been in a lot of tornado warnings. Yeah, I've been of... through tornado warnings, but not like in it like a. Uh, I've had tornadoes touch down in my county, but not come near us. So. This might sound crazy now that I've like actually been through it, but I'd rather go through a hurricane than a tornado. Tornadoes well, are the, actually like terrifying. Well, the thing with tornadoes is like if you're in the vicinity of a tornado, you're so fucked. Uh, yeah, because there's no just, war- there's some like real like warning where you can leave. It's like yeah, oh, they appear and minutes. then they just fucking go right through you. Uh, yeah. But there's the chances of the tornado appearing right on top of you, unless you live in like fucking Kansas or something, yeah. uh, are pretty high, are pretty low. So you're usually, but are like a hurricanes everywhere. So it's yeah, all about where you're at. The either, hurricane. Though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, while you were going through your hurricane, I we were going through our own personal emotional hurricane. Yeah, man, you uh, want to downplay my hurricane by talking about this stupid <laughs> analogy you just made? <laughs> the uh actually i actually dm that to you while you were in the hurricane i'm like we're going through yeah, our thanks. own hurricane buddy uh <laughs> i feel your pain uh no uh we uploaded the uh the podcast now recording um uh monty is a pedo creep that was your title great title, your great title. title. uh well all right so as soon as it was uploaded uh tiny dancer got into my dms and was uh pretty excited about it was messaging me and she <laughs> messaged me and she asked yo can i get uh can you put my youtube link in the description uh since this story is about me and i told her uh I, we don't have access to the youtube right now the guy who owns the channel is in a hurricane and she said oh okay uh so after a little while we're talking to you about the hurricane and stuff uh she popped into my dms again and she's fucking mad dude she's like did she listen to it she listened to the (laughs) podcast and she is fucking mad uh i guess beaver said a few things she did not appreciate about the only fan stuff uh you know like if you're not wrong uh, like if you're exchanging only fans no uh, no toxic do not go down that road right now all right uh, i think beaver said something like if you're exchanging only fans uh and someone wants to see your titties and they want to edit or something and you, you shouldn't like have to deal with it, but it comes with the territory at this point. He's and not I think wrong. He, was, he was making okay. He was making a general <laughs> statement about it, a general statement, and it kind of got like the format of the show was: I knew most of everything. Beavers knew a tiny bit. You didn't know anything. Core didn't know anything. So the format was me telling you guys everything about what was going on in the story. I'll, albeit as I don't know a lot. Uh, we're outsiders. We're outside looking in. So I'm telling you little parts of it uh of the stuff that i got trying to do my best to break it down and you know beavers has the tendency to when he hears something he doesn't agree with he's going to be verbal about it and he's gonna strike and he's gonna talk about it even if he doesn't know the whole fucking story so yeah that's what happened and uh beaver said what he said and uh tiny dancer did not like that and she fucking jumped into my dms and she's jumping in your dms beavers things in the description I told, uh, I, I mean, I was in contact with her trying to get her on at one point, so I, I guess know. she wanted to talk to me, but uh, she was just, uh, she was really like, uh, we were really going back and forth, uh, and it was, um, it, it was interesting because uh, it was kind of nerve wracking because I was like, oh God, here we fucking go. 
this is the <laughs> worst time for this to happen. I'm about to, I don't want to go in. I don't want to get into a, I don't want to get dragged into a fight with like this feudy booty, feudy beauty drama. Uh, and it just, it, it was just really nerve wracking because I, I really didn't want to deal with it at that point. I want uh, you to know that I, I think I made it clear. I don't remember, but I was really looking forward to the backlash of that episode. And I wanted to be there for that. And if I was, I would have been making the most outrageous tweets towards her. Oh, <laughs> I would have been stirring the pause so bad. Well, trust me, it would have made it even I did. more worse. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> so, Matt, Matt, I totally forgot Matt said, it. don't don't poke the bear. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, uh, I, I won't. And I totally forgot I said that. Um, well, on Twitter, uh, she said the whole thing about, about him not uh, asking for credit. And I said, you know what? You should give her credit on Twitter, Matt. And I tagged her and Tipster. Mm. And and Matt messages me, says, what are you doing? Delete that now. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. She was already in my DMs at the point. Also, Tipster (laughs) Tipster got into my DMs. And he was like, yo, what's what's going on, uh, bro? Like, fucking Tiny Dancer's in my DMs right now. She's fucking pissed. What did Bieber say? I listened to what (laughs) – and then then Tipster said, I listened to what Bieber said. Uh, Yikes, my dude. And I'm like, look, you know Beavers. He's a hot take machine, bro. Like, he didn't like. He's gonna say what he says. Yeah. Well, I mean, but, uh, but it's just like fucking. It's it's just insane. Uh, but yeah, she was saying we victim shamed her, that we slut slut shamed her as sex workers, and um, I think Cord did that. Uh, I wasn't that there. We were, so. <laughs> Now she has to me. go on a stream to protect uh, everyone and these women. Uh, and um, I tried to explain to her, like, look, it's a two-part episode. The second part, we bring in Gaining Ground, and we bring in Angry Pistachio. We try to explain everything. Uh, and I'm like, yo, do what you got to do. But most of the stuff in this episode are jokes, albeit distasteful. But that's Beavers. He's a mask-off type of person. That's his sense of humor. And that's how all our episodes are. And she just goes right back into our trauma is not a joke. Great humor. So funny. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Really made me laugh. Uh, and she says she's saying stuff like she made She had a panic attack in public while listening to it. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Don't listen uh, to that recording in public. It's never a good idea. <laughs> yeah. She said, uh, you know, that it was, we were putting her out. Like, we were making her out to be a whore that she sells her body. Uh, well, to be fair, she does sell her body. And I told her, I was like, you should really take this up with Beavers. He said it. I'm not, I'm not Beavers, you know? Because at that point, I'm like, look, Beavers can deal with this, bro. He, he has no problem being in the fucking trenches with this girl and being like, fuck you. I said what I said. I didn't say it. So like, what do I get? why do I have to represent Beavers at this point? I was just the guy delivering the story. Um, and she's like telling me, well, you sat back. You're saying, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, well, that's the th- I, I say that no matter what. You could be like, yeah, I killed somebody on here i'll be like oh yeah mm-hmm. like i just <laughs> fucking like that's my fucking tendency to say that on podcast um yeah. i try to break it down I'm like we're in a community where we talk shit make jokes uh beaver goes mask off i push back etc he doesn't know the situation as much as i do we go into more details in the next episode uh you're in a community and then i say you're in a community where you literally watch an overweight woman eat herself to death like what the fuck <laughs> like how like can't we just like you know can't you understand where we're coming from here like the, the, like <laughs> the communities although crazy we we can understand each other at least you can understand it's just a podcast yeah uh and she's like uh don't talk about my drama my trauma uh she says <laughs> uh i don't watch beauty beauty i stopped a year ago um if you don't want people to talk about it don't make it public and then she said a lot of stuff and i'm just like what and uh she says i'm not in the girl world uh i'm not a creator who watches her i stopped watching her last year yeah you want to say it's okay to show us show uh shameless women coming out and i'm uh and i'm like nobody is shaming you beavers made some jokes it's not shaming that's not how we work and she says uh jokes on our trauma did uh <sighs> did you know this was looking for my uh you know like did you know this man was looking for my abusive ex and all this stuff and i'm like uh nobody i, I nobody made jokes about her abusive ex and um all the, uh, the like, black guy? and she's and then she goes back to Monty. Did you know he demanded news? And I was like, I read the DMs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, yeah, we get it. He's a creep. 
Yeah, she called the podcast poor taste, and I, I this is my favorite part. Uh, she says, "Yeah, whatever." Really done in poor taste, and I'm like, "Our whole podcast is in poor taste. Yes. Like, <laughs> our whole podcast Literally. is poor taste." In fact, <laughs> we should probably change the name to our podcast to Poor Taste because that's what yeah. we are. Uh, and she says, "Congrats, you succeeded." Uh, Good. And she said, "Just because I feel hurt by what y'all said doesn't mean you have to mock me." Because okay, so she tweeted out her stream. And I, I, I was like, fuck, all right, so what do I do in this situation? Like, fuck it, let's just go with the flow. I, I quote tweeted, I was like, hey, y'all check out this stream. She's going to shit on us. And uh, she, she asked, she said, uh, you know, you don't have to mock me. And I said, I didn't mock you. And, and you know, Wait, she talks so about you're mocking her by quoting the tweet and saying she, she's going to shit on what us. What do you mean? You're like giving her a shout out. Yeah. Uh, and then um, I try to see like how uh, I could talk to her on stream because I was trying to get a conversation with her. Buddha bitch, tipster, and me privately, but she went straight for streaming, and that's perfectly fine. I can, I'll, I'll go on the stream and talk to her. I have no problem. Uh, and she starts a uh, a streamyard stream, and I don't know how streamyard works, Damn. so I'm like, fuck, I gotta make a fucking streamyard account for this shit. Is there any way we can do this where you like go to Discord on your streamyard, and I'll just meet you in the Discord? She's like, no, I can't do that. Here's the link. And the way she was making it out, it was pretty simple. And I'm like, man, all right, let me see. I click the link, and all you gotta do. If, is if you get a like an invite link, you don't even have to make an account. You just write your name, you know, uh, turn on your mic, uh, turn off your ca- turn on your camera, and then go into the fucking waiting room and then turn off your camera, uh, and then uh, you just you're there. Like it's pretty basic. Uh, I didn't realize how simple it was. So maybe for them, I've always heard like from the background, like the streamers' uh, perspective, it's actually a lot more complicated. Really, uh, yeah. it was very simple for me. It was very simple to join. That's yeah. for sure. Um, and so I'm sitting in there waiting. She's now taken down the stream, by the way. I really wish you could have saw that. But uh, I'm sitting in there waiting. Make it public. Yeah, and <laughs> she's kind of she's kind of going, you know, about the podcast, how she didn't like it, and all this stuff. She's being pretty calm about it. She's pretty calm. She. It was a lot more. I, I was. I was. I thought she was going to come on screaming or something, but she was. She was calm. She was chill. She was collective. Uh, and she brings me on at like maybe about. 20 minutes in she brings me on and we have a back and forth talk where you know i explain to her uh by the way beavers and me are dming at this point and he's telling me like yo i didn't mean i didn't mean that that they should be happy to deal with dudes wanting their news i said it should be expected and i was like all right i'll relay that information so i come in with that uh i wanted to go on i did not oh. want this to get any- if beavers goes on the screen <laughs> to let beavers go <laughs> it's just gonna make it worse bro it's just gonna get worse but i'm trying to like put out the fire at this point but uh so she me and her talk and i try i try to tell her like look i it was just beaver's opinion he just you know i don't think he meant it the way he meant it and she kind of you know hammered on me that like he's it's still it's still bad what he said and we kind of go back and forth and um I'm trying to remember what part at one point she t- uh she's trying to say like she asked me about angry she asked me about the second podcast and i'm like well yeah we're having gaining ground who is someone she respects and angry pistachio coming on to like and we we talk more about the points and they you know they talk more about the situation and stuff and she's like well, i don't know about angry pistachio i've never talked to angry pistachio uh and i've heard things about her or something of that nature and I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, but we got getting ground too. You like getting ground, right? And no, she's you like, yeah. Did. What's up? Should have asked her if she wanted to come on. Uh, well, I'll get to that. <laughs> I'll get to that in a second. Right. Um, but I was like, you like gaining ground, right? And she's like, oh yeah. I can't believe you didn't text me. I can't believe you didn't text me. And she's like, oh, I can't believe you didn't text me. Why? Why wouldn't he text me about this? And I'm like, oh, this is awkward. Ugh. Uh, but uh, yeah. So she's um talking about that, and. I'm simply trying just to explain to her like my side of the situation. Like I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to say what Bieber said was right, but that's his opinion. And he needs a mask off kind of guy. The whole time Buddha bitch is in the chat kind of shitting on us a little bit, but you know, in, in fairness to her, she was, she was, she wasn't really outright mean or, or coming after us. She just expressed her opinion and that's her opinion. You know, uh, we expressed our opinion on our podcast and I'm sure she didn't really appreciate it. And that's fair. But um, so at one point she's talking about the next podcast and I'm like, uh, 
I'm like, yeah. Uh, she's like, when's it coming out? And I'm like, well, when Toxic gets back from his hurricane, probably uh, <laughs> maybe four to five days. And she's like, is there any way we could get a recording of it to listen to it? Fuck you. And I'm thinking, no. I'm thinking, no. Uh, in my head, I'm thinking, no, that, that's, I'm not going to do that. So I tell you know her. What she like, might have done because she's already like mad at us. She might have just like listened Uploaded. to it on the stream. No, just listened to it on the stream and reacted to it. Yeah. And then that would have like been so st- But yeah. Yeah. And I was just thinking, like, all right, well, wait, we can't. I just told her, like, we can't do that. Toxic's the guy. Toxic's the only guy who's got the audio and uh, he's in a hurricane. So this is the second time I've told, I think maybe the third time I've told her, like, my co host, the guy who owns the channel, is in a hurricane. She's like, well, shouldn't you have like a manager for this? Shouldn't you be having people keep the audio and stuff like that? And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I do actually have the audio, but I'm not going to. You should just said no. Why I should have just said no? no, but I wanted. <laughs> I should have just said no, but I just like I felt like I was walking on eggshells, and I felt like if I said one thing wrong, it would have just turned into a whole thing. I got like she's got like 90 people in there. They're all like shitting on me, so I'm thinking like, all right, dude, I'm just gonna like. Handle this like blunt, be blunt, be quick, uh, say my answer, and then just move on. And that's the way I was thinking. Be respectful, all that stuff, and you know, okay. get out of there. But uh, and then um, and she kind of made fun of me at one point. She was because uh, I, I can't remember what the question was, and I was just like, oh, I guess. Like I kind of, I was kind of short with her because I was kind of over it at that point. And uh, she was like, oh, I guess. And I was like, okay. And, I was, and we ended finally, and I left, and then she ended up watching Beauty Beauty, uh, See, you uh, gotta, Beauty Beauty <laughs> streams, so I don't know. You gotta match people's energy, Matt. If they're gonna be angry, you gotta be angry. I just didn't see the point, bro. You gotta like, be I more aggressive. I'll be honest with you, I didn't see her, like, I didn't want to turn her into, like, I just didn't want to turn her into content at that point. Like, that's, this is all, like, her story and shit, and we covered it because the tipster covered it, like, it was goth mommy drama, right? That was, like, our end was that's how we covered it and i just feel like us like trying to start shit with her and fucking turn this into a fight i just didn't want i didn't want the smoke bro i'll be honest with you i just didn't want the smoke man because these women are fucking crazy no i'm just kidding i like crazy Um, women uh but uh i know buddha bitch put out a community post on us well she she just uh buddha bitch put out a community post highlighting her stream and just being like more uh victim blaming uh, I just ignored it uh, and stuff. Um, she she did a three hour stream. She didn't mention us. I think she's got. I think she's got like bigger fresh fish to fry at this point. Like, uh, she's doing her own thing. She's taking on Monty and all those guys and all that stuff. Like, oh yeah, I forgot about one thing. She was trying to say we were defending Monty because of uh, the the cat punching that we were defending it. That we were trying yeah. to hard say well, he he didn't punch his cat, and yeah. by that we were trying to defend Monty for it. But uh, I, I simply explained, like, there's no shot of the cat being punched yeah. in, in the clip. And, we don't know. And, and then the next podcast, we are explained to by Gaining Ground that he brings up the cat, right? He's like, oh, like, he could have easily said, oh, my power jack came out. And I just, like, had to rip it out real quick. No, the fucking, he mentions his cat. Like, my cat was in danger and I pushed him out of the way or something. I saved his life or something like that. That's what yeah. Gaining Ground says. So that makes more sense in context, but none, nonetheless, in the clip, you don't see a cat being punched. Is our point? Yeah, right? to, yeah. We never like we we just we didn't know. We were just saying there's possibilities that he didn't actually punch his cat. Yeah, well, and just like the, just like they're doing, they're speculating on on whether that happened or not. Yeah. Nobody has the hard proof. We didn't hear a cat like go ah, ah, like in the background, you know, or anything. It was yeah. it was literally just him just a movement. Yeah, that's all about all you heard. That's it. Yeah. And so like and that's what I simply explained to her. And she tried to like kind of make it uh, and it just kind of felt like she was trying to like twist it into us defending this Monty guy. And I'm like, we don't really know the Monty guy. We I don't really like the guy. He's fucking copyright striking people and being weird. I don't like I don't want to defend the guy. I'm just simply. But we're always going to take we're all going to look at things from both angles. And if I. I see a clip of someone not punching a cat, like there's no visual evidence of him punching the cat, then I'm gonna be like, well, he definitely struck something down there, but I can't see if it's a cat or not, you know? Yeah. Um, well, there's also, no strong evidence w- leading one way or the other. How are we supposed to, you know, yeah. it's, it, it's opinion based, you know? Nobody's, yeah. nobody's gonna take it seriously, like either way. So, and it's a weak argument, nonetheless, mm-hmm. you know? It's a, like if, if it's a Nicholas Dioria video, 
if you're gonna th- throw that the cat punching and you say, well, you didn't mention the cat punching. Well, uh, that's because he you can't prove one way or another. So. Yeah. Also, yeah. she was trying to say that Monty was going to take our podcast and clip it and use it to defend him. Uh, cool. Our podcast was called "Is Monty a Pedo Creep?" So, <laughs> well, if you just took the audio from it, when, to be fair, again, <laughs> we didn't really defend him. We just we gave did. other options. No. We gave other options. We gave possible, you know, solutions and stuff that. And you could know what? Just to, just to make these people happy, I think he's a creep, and I don't like him. Yeah. Is that what you wanted yeah. to hear? Yeah, like we think he's a creep, and we don't like him. Do I think he um, abuses animals? No. Yeah. Uh, by the way, while that stream was going on, Beavers popped in the chat and wrote a couple paragraphs shitting on uh, Tiny Dancer, to which I DM'd uh, Beavers, and I said, uh, please just let me deal with this right now. Uh, we can, If you want to take her on at a later date, that's on you, but let me just, let, let's just get <laughs> out of this, all right? Let's just figure this one out. And uh, he complied, and uh, he was very reasonable. Uh, and he told me, he was like, uh, he told me basically, like, I think... Uh, I think we should be done after this, if I'm being, and I'm like, I agree. So, um, there was a comment uh, on our latest podcast where this person basically said uh, she. They went on a huge paragraph, um, and they uh, said, "I followed for years, and honestly, that is the most active and enthralling part of Girl World, aka the Fatmosphere, aka whatever Pistachio called it." Lol. Some of the channels are small enough that they wrap up their audience and drama or their Twitter accounts like myself that share clips. But I enjoy hearing you all learn about it. I love hearing all the opinions of those who see this with fresh eyes. Good luck on this for- foray into the unknown. There will be no have... foray into the unknown. We are stopping and we are turning around. <laughs> we are not going any eyes. further. Yeah, good. Yeah. Um, good, good. I do want to say, though, on those episodes, I did see a lot of like names I didn't recognize in the comments. You know, that's pretty cool. Hope well, uh, that's it. that's a shout out to Angry Pistachio who uh, saw Tiny Dancer stream and had a couple things to say, and she shouted us out and she yeah. uh, brought people over, and I think Danny Ground brought some people over too. And yeah, if you're listening to this podcast, you're expecting us to like talk more about this foodie beauty drama. It's probably not going to happen, guys. Look, we covered this because Tipster, we, our angle was Tipster. We covered uh, drama with Tipster prior a few months ago, and uh, Tiny Dancer happened to be a Tipster quote unquote goth mommy. So we thought Tipster E whore. Uh, yeah. Whoa, so we, whoa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? So that's what we he used to call him. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's, no, a that's joke. what tip, No, that's what Tipster used to call him. Or no, that's what other people used to call his group. So it's not so, me calling her an E whore. That's just so what tips, everybody else called her. Was our, tipster was our in. We simply wanted to open the door slightly, peek in, see what was going on, and now we're now we're leaving and we're closing the door and we're we're never coming back. So uh, unless. If, if you're were if you were hoping for us to be uh to cover more foodie beauty drama or girl world or hater nation or any of that stuff uh, unless it connects with commentary we probably won't cover it but, so but don't unsubscribe because we got a lot of bunch of new subs and i'm very happy about that i think a, a good bit of the community. subs actually was had to do with the hurricane but i i, I also want to <laughs> i also want to uh point out that uh i don't want to i don't want to uh take this out i don't want to not talk about this as well um she apologized to me uh she definitely apologized uh tiny dancer that is and she said she was uh sorry that she uh took you know her what which what beaver said out on basically me and i accepted her apology and all is well that ends well in my opinion so tiny dancer if you're listening to this um all is well that ends that ends well i have no issues with you uh, I just simply was trying to give the whole context of the situation, and you know, like we're we're pretty much we're outie, like we're we're not we're not sticking around. So um, you can you got your situation, Buddha bitch has got her situation. I wish you both the best of luck, uh, but we're just not we're just not we're not capable of handling this, in my opinion. <laughs> this is not our type of story, so we're out. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, that's our that was our personal hurricane. Toxic would would Toxic be able to watch the the that's whole stream on the Peanuts channel? No, oh, Peanut no. fucking uh, <clears throat> not. Excuse me, Peanut's sister Pistachio. Um, she did not actually go over the stream. She like went over like like three minutes of it. Like forty minutes of it is just her like talking to people in the chat and 
like being like, oh, I got to get the stream up, what I, you know, stuff. And then she covers it for about five minutes. And then she's like, oh, I got to dip. Gang Ground's going live, guys. So, well, I want to say Tiny Dancer, do the right thing. Smile. Unlist the video. DM it to me. Bundled with your nudes. All right. We done? <laughs> uh I, I do you guys want to save uh fireball for a later episode i mean uh, we, we can talk about it uh, or do i don't think i want i was gonna say i don't i don't think beavers is gonna weigh in much on it because he wasn't there was he all right well, uh, let's yeah. talk about it all right cool yeah. all right so fireball three happened uh toxic you were supposed to be a part of it uh sadly you could not be a part of it um it, saw, it felt came, so bad <laughs> literally the day before your internet came back right yeah, it, like hypothetically, I could have been there for night two. I wouldn't have been, but I could. Yeah. Have been. So, uh, the first stressful part was finding Brick a partner, and my first suggestion was Liana, which I think was the best. That's replacement. literally the perfect replacement. The for perfect her. replacement we With could Brick. think of, bro. Yeah. And I knew, I knew, I knew Toxic would be completely like committed yeah. to like Liana replacing him, and yeah. I, I, Liana said yes. Right, she said yes, and then she she said I can't get off work, and I was like, well, by the way, like I was just trying to think, like, wait, you pop into voice chats all the time, just like bullshit, and like you can't just take like a couple minutes. Uh, and she do doesn't this. do that, that often anymore. Look, because I'm gonna be honest, you guys were destined to lose anyways against no, Tisha and Oblex. I'll well, get into how it everything went. Yeah, I'll get into it in a second, but um, yeah, so Liana can't do it, so I go to Creed because Creed's brick secondhand man. And I think uh, I got DMs with Creed, so I'll read those because I don't DM him that much. Um, Poor Creed. Yeah, you uh, should start DMing him. Do it right yeah, now, actually. Daily, just, actually. Say, yeah. just say, hi, Creed. I yeah, DM that. him and I say, congrats, Creed. You may be doing Fireball. And he said, yeah, about that. Uh, that's <laughs> the second I have to babysit. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? And he says, sorry, man. I'll see if I can get free. And I said, if I see you in the Shop the Point voice chat at the time during Fireball 2, I swear to God. Because I was <laughs> thinking, like, he's trying to get out of it, man. And then he's going to just be in the voice chat in Shop of the Point watching the Fireball. And he, Kree says, tell me what time. And I said, at 8.15 Eastern when it starts, I don't know what time your match would be. And he tell says, me what okay. time not to show up in the voice chat. Yeah. <laughs> he says, okay, I'll get one of my relatives, uh, you know, whatever. And I said, uh, lol. And he says, 8.15 8:15 p.m., right? And I say, yes. And he, Creed says, oh, is there any updates from Toxic? And I said, haven't heard from him since yesterday. And he said, okay. Okay, at worst comes to worst, we can get Bieber Man. And I said, what? Lol, what, if you what, can't what? do it. Yeah, Excuse I'm me. like, well, I'm like, if you can't do it, let me know now. I'll no, find no, no, someone no, no. else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How did, why would that idea even pop into your head, Creed? Yeah, I With don't... all the drama he was in last week? No. Yeah, that's no. a horrible pick. No. And he's like, yeah, find someone else. I don't know what tomorrow's going to be like. And I was like, bet. So uh, I'm at, so I at everyone in the server. I'm like, Brick needs a partner. Who's it going to be, guys? Like, uh, we're looking for volunteers here. And uh, fucking uh, Banana's interested. And uh, he DMs me. And I'm like, all right, set up a call. I set up with a call. And I try to explain it the, the show to him. He has no idea what's going on. He sounds 100% uninterested in it. Like, he just sounds so, like, lackadaisical and just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. Like, you know, this type of thing. And I'm like, all right, dude. Like, can I get I some know. Can I Banana, get some enthusiasm here? Banana's weird, autistic, and smart. He probably could have did decent. He probably would have did good. He probably Not with how it was rigged, but and, we'll still get that. And I think uh, I would have preferred probably Banana. But uh, at some point, Salvo DMs me. And he's like, all right, Drew is sharing. How about him? Because he wants in. <laughs> And there's an opening. And I was like, all right, well, I got to explain this to Brick. And I'm thinking, I'm going to, it's going to take three hours to explain the guy, to explain this uh, to Brick, the context of Jewish sharing, you know, and try to like get through to the Brick. Uh, and uh, fucking uh, Salo basically tells me, like, just tell him he has no choice. And I was like, bet, done. <laughs> so I, I go to Brick and I'm like, yo, Brick, Jewish sharing is your partner. He's a huge YouTuber. It's your best chance of winning, my buddy. It's, it's, it's your best chance of winning. And he's a bit, uh, you know, he's Brick. You know, so but you like, set him up is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't set him. I set him up with the best chance to win. Mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So while that's happening, um, I get a DM from Real Young Crip that says, uh, "Sorry, bro. Uh, I got some issues that came up, and Whoa. I got to drop out." And I'm like, "Well, shit." 
and I just everything's deflated, and I'm just like, okay, well, I'm just not gonna do the show. So I DM Salo, and I was like, hey, dude, Crip dropped out. Um, I don't feel like doing. I, I I'm deflated. I don't really want to do this, man. I don't want to look for another partner. So I'm thinking like, dude, Bo Blacks took so long to find a partner, and he's a fucking huge YouTuber. Like, I'm never gonna find a partner. And uh, Salvo ignores me, and he starts tweeting out pictures of him without a shirt on. And I'm like, I'm just like adding him, like Salvo DMs, buddy. And it finally, he tweets out something like, "I am not going to answer Matt Pitt's DMs because he is doing Fireball." And I'm like, I, I DM him. I'm like, "All right, fuck you. Uh, all right, fuck you, asshole. Like, uh, fine, I'll do Fireball. Uh, just let me find a partner." And then he DMs me, "Ha ha 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 ha." And so I go searching. And so my my thinking is this: I want a partner that will get me eliminated quickly. Uh, I want to win the first round, and I want to get out by the second round. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, what's the funniest? What's the funniest idea for a partner? Uh, well, Ash reacts, DM'd me, and she's yeah. interested. And I'm thinking that's actually not a bad idea. I'm just afraid how seriously she will take it, you know. And I'm thinking maybe we can get like, uh, uh, maybe we can get uh, set up with Spawn Dial and Tomato Man. That would be fun because that would get me eliminated. Right. But um. But I'm also thinking she's she takes shit really seriously, and I don't know if she could handle this. Um, but I think uh, the funniest one I was thinking was Abby Blackbird, yeah. right? Yeah. I was like, well, I was like that would be the meme, right? Get the person that uh, you know who hates hates us, right? Uh, she wants to be, she wanted to be on Fireball. I saw her in the chat being like, I, you know, expressing that she wanted to be Bo Blast's partner. So I thought about you know like giving her the chance and being uh, being my partner. And uh, I DM'd her on Discord, and it uh, never got back to me. Just never got back to me. Uh, sure. So at that point, I got Ash reacts. Uh, I try the other the YouTuber I can think of is Jalen. I thought Jalen would be a great partner. I think that would be a funny partner. So I DM Jalen. Doesn't get back to me. Uh, and I'm trying to think if I I asked anyone else. Um, oh, I asked Ricky Berwick. I tweeted at him. He said no very quickly. Uh, basically told me to fuck off. You go from one uh, cripple to another. Good yes, one. Yes, I want to. Yeah, I wanted dis the disabled duo. And then, um, let me think. I think uh, I don't know if I asked anyone else that I was trying to consider. Uh, Rose Malay kept asking me. That would have been a funny. Well, she is disabled. Mentally. That would have been a funny one, oh. but <laughs> she was on the show. She was on the standard from chopping the point. So I was just like, that's just not good optics. Wait, I what? Just, she got oh you missed that show she got banned from shopping point I, I was there when she called in yeah that she clip chimped us she she clipped it out and she tweeted oh. it out and she was like uh it, it, she took the clip of tommy being like no you're a dude ha 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 no go i'm sorry young lady like go ahead young lady that clip oh, that's and she was like if i'm supposed how am i supposed to feel about this uh, if i say something am i a crazy bread tuber and tommy got saw that clip because he got a privacy complaint and we were thinking it was either Slug or her. Or, well, we know we were not thinking it was Rose Millette. We were thinking it was Slug. Maybe that was the suspicion. Slug, if you're listening to this, you did not privacy complain us. Okay, buddy. You so are vindicated, her? sir. It wasn't, I'm not going to go on to who it was because I don't want to talk about this person, but it wasn't Rose and it wasn't um, Slug. It was a person who's kind of obsessed with Rose who privacy mm -hmm. complains videos that Rose is in. So, okay. Yeah. So, um, so, but Tommy saw that tweet and fucking goes off on her on shot from the point and basically says, I ain't dealing with you anymore. Goodbye. You're banned from the server. Get the fuck out of here. Didn't even bring her in. Just fucking just like, got it. Yeah. She goes on Edwin's stream and me and her have a little debate. And then it turns into a debate between Xyla and her about rape. And I'm just like, oh, well, oh, good go. one. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I'm thinking, what's the best chance? Abby Blackbird won't message me back. Uh, Jalen won't message me back. Well, did you ever think about trying Billy the Fridge? Yeah, I was going to get there. I was building up to that. Right? <laughs> I was building up to that joke, but thanks for ruining it. But uh, anyways, uh, Vito messaged me, and he says, I'm down to be your partner. And I'm thinking, that's a funny partner to have, man. He's a bigger YouTuber. That's a funny partner to have. Everybody hates him. I'll be out by the second round. And then uh, fucking... <laughs> uh, then uh, I make my decision, and I go with Vito. Uh I, I honestly think if I would have chose Ash reacts, if we made it to the second night, I don't know. It, it would have been something where it's like, she's like, I can't make it. Sorry. And I would have been out of a partner or something. 
So I got vetoed. Well, then I could have done it, lol. And then the next day, Core DMs me and says, hey, why didn't you get Billy the Fridge? And I'm just like, mother. Good question. Sure. Why didn't God you, man? Uh, I hate my life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, if I would have thought of Billy the Fridge, I would. Yeah. But honestly, it, with Billy the Fridge, we probably would have won. So Yeah, you probably would have. Yeah. I mean, you were already in the finals, so why not win? Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, so the Fireball, uh, was there any other stuff beforehand that I need to talk about before we get into Fireball itself? No, nope. hopefully I'm in the next one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, round one, we face Oracle and some Twittersburg. Uh, we beat them easily. Um, we, it, gives, it goes to the third round. Uh, they can't spell butterscotch and we spell our word and we win. Uh, th- yeah. And then we, who did we, who did we face next? I'd love to tell you, but I can't watch. Or, it. What? Who, was, who, who did we face after the first guys? Who was the second person we faced night one? Um, I don't remember. I'm gonna look at the bracket right now, though. Oh, so... Jessica and Pescator. Jessica yes. and Pescator. We, we faced Jessica and Pescator, and again, it was pretty much even. Wait a minute. What's up? You're the reason why Jessica lost. I am the reason why Jessica lost. I hate but it's you. not I my fault. From Team Pito. It's not my fault. We should have this. This could have been us. This could have been my first loss right there. Uh, it went to could've a chat been. vote. It literally went to a Bullshit. chat vote, bro. It went to a chat vote. And we fucking won by like three percent. It was like forty-eight fifty-two. Bullshit. It was fucking insane. I could not believe that uh fucking I got vetoed through a chat vote. That's insane. Um and then uh Brick did I think Brick did a great job in his uh his role on Fireball, but uh Drew was really high, like really, really high because he was matching everybody and then fucking just was just fucking out of it, right? And yep. uh, Tipster comes in quick and gets a huge, like, own on uh, Drew. And the way the points work is we're playing these games, but if you get, like, an own, you get a fireball point. And there was only one fireball point given that night, and it was to Tipster. Uh, and, yeah, so at that, they were already at a disadvantage. Also, again, the stream isn't back up yet, so I can't go back and watch, but a lot of the yep. questions were kind of, like, easy lobs for Tipster is what Brick is saying. A lot of Tipster-related questions and answers. Uh, Brick yeah. did get. I know for a fact Brick got one right. Uh, uh, a shining question. Uh, what's the saying in shining? Where's here? Here's Johnny. Uh, he got that right, and uh, I think he was pretty funny. I think Brick That's was. Why did. I wanted Brick on my team because he would know stuff like that that I wouldn't. Because I don't know shit yeah. about movies. I and think Brick is actually a good partner. He uh, he was the most talkative of the bunch. Uh, he did the thing where he starts rambling, and you saw a Tipster just be kind of confused, being like, "What? What's going on? Like, <laughs> like, can I talk? Well, like." I'm I'm really interested to see whenever part one goes back up because I still haven't seen it. Um, I want to see if I know any of the tipster questions to see if we actually would have had a chance. Yeah. Because and then really um, curious. then uh, so then Brick and Drew lost unfortunately, uh, and then Tipster and uh, Bo Blacks went on to face Mudahar and Dojangles, and it went on to be a uh, big, probably one of the best blood sports of the night. Uh, we've all seen it already. We've all there's already channels talking about it. So if you want to. Go watch Shock on the Point or Dead on Dave or uh, who else ever talked about it uh, or just watch it on Salvo's channel. It's still up. Do you really think that that was better? Th- that's better than uh, Brick versus Muda? Come on. Come on. That could have been perfect. It had to be, no, it had to be Tipster and Bo Black. For the <laughs> uh, yeah, for the clicks and the views, blah, blah, blah. But if Brick went against Muda, all the racist things he would have came up with, with his creative, creative mind. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, even Tipster admitted that they should have just lined them up for the first set. Yeah, they I agree. should have. Yeah. They shouldn't have done them dir- that dirty. Muda didn't even want to be there. He was just like, oh, "I got other stuff to do." Blah blah blah. And if he would have got eliminated the first round, second round probably wouldn't have been rigged. Tipster would have lost. Break would have moved on. Went to the second night, and everything would have been happy, and he would have won. Well, Tipster and uh, Boblax did lose in the third round against us. Uh, I pulled. Uh, you guys were in the voice chat with me when I found that Twitter uh, yeah. and I found that uh, follow, and uh, I was like, "Guess what, guys? This guy, this girl, Ooh. just followed me. She only has one follower, and it's fucking Tipster. I'm <laughs> screenshotting that, and I'm coming in hot, boys." And I, I know, just, I know it's a joke, but every single time I see a random Twitter account and I have mutual follows, and it's one person, and it's a woman, it's Tipster. Yeah, 
all like, the tipster. All the females in the community are followed by tipster. I want to know. There's no way to do this, but I want to know the percentage of females he follows just on his account. I'm telling you, man, he's got the girl algorithm. Yeah, it's at least 85 percent. But I came in hot with that screenshot. I got the fireball point. I tried my best to deliver the joke you pitched to me. Uh, I got yeah. cut off in the beginning, but I think I did a good job with the joke. I feel like if I could have just got a little time to say it, maybe God. it might have got me another file, fireball <laughs> point. But It might have. It was really good. Well, what I was thinking was I start with a screenshot, and then I, I hit him with that joke, and that would give Yeah, because I don't, I don't think he would have um, pulled up the screenshot if he would have randomly said it like halfway yeah. through that because yeah. it was too chaotic. Right. So, uh, yeah, my line of thinking was uh, Dead on Dave. Uh, I was on Dead on Dave show, and I fucking was telling Dead on Dave, like, yeah, we're not going to do blood sports with them. We're not going to get baited into blood sports. We can't beat them in blood sports. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, as soon as I join, I'm coming in hot, and I'm going to fuck them up. And that's what, uh, that's what I did. Oh, were you? I thought my, uh, whenever I sent you that, I thought I was, you, then you, like, flipped the switch. I thought well, you yeah, I was trying to, well, like... no. Well, I was trying to think about it, right? Yeah. And I was like, I'm definitely going to come in hot with blood sports. And I was, just, I was just thinking, like, what can I do? And this tweet fell into my lap. And then uh, the, your joke. And I was like, all right, I got, a, I got it now. I'm good. I got confident then. Yeah. Man, you fucking sounded confident on the stream. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but my whole thing was, like, I just want to get a fireball point. I don't care if I lose. I just want to get the fireball point. Yeah, and I got the fireball too. point. And we still won because uh, Tipster doesn't know music, I guess. I don't know how. How does he not know Kesha and like stuff like that? I have no idea, dude. Oh I have God. no idea, bro. If but he, he didn't don't even gotta him. like listen to like if you were just alive in like two thousand eight. But I'll no be honest response. with you, I don't think Boblax would have been able to guess any either. <sighs> I don't know. I bet Boblax knows Kesha. Uh Katie Sonic Perry. maybe? Uh, nah, from like two thousand eight. Come on. He he's yeah. got to. Well, like, uh, he, 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 he reminds me of like a cringy kid who played Just Dancers. I guarantee. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we won. Uh, and then the next round, I tried to throw it. Mm, terrible did, uh, did anyone notice while they were... Uh, Gore, were you watching? Did you notice I was trying to throw it by any chance? Yes. No, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't know what comic he was writing. I thought it was Star Wars or something. Uh, yeah, I was... Uh, I, um, I knew it was an action thriller. But and I thought maybe it was a horror as well, but I knew horror was the least likely to answer, so I went with that one. But uh, also, uh, I, I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, uh, Salvo didn't have any questions for Gigi Evans, so I, I was like, I know who Gigi Evans is. Can I? I'll send you a question. Yeah, uh, I like how he did that, but then yeah. he was just bragging about how much research he did for the. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, but. Uh, I was like, but yeah, like if I was trying to win, I would definitely not have pitched them a question. But uh, I could tell Salo did not want Bullies and GG Evans to win that round for sure. Uh, because in all honesty, they did win the fucking, um, they won the fucking, do you know, because they got one. I think they got one and we had zero, but they still, I guess you got to win by two. I didn't know that rule. Because <clears throat> at that point I was like, oh, well, GG, we lost, right guys? And Sal was like, nope, spelling bee. And uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to fucking lose a spelling bee, bro. If I know the word, I'm spelling that fucking word. But uh, and I spelled the word and uh, fucking bullies didn't know. So on to the finals we go. And I'm thinking I'm like, motherfucker, here we go again. Here we fucking go again. Unfucking believable. I cannot just fucking get out of the second round and fucking sit back and watch this thing. I got to fucking go all the way to the fucking finals again. Great. And we had a blood oh. sports with uh, Jessica Pistol and Red uh, Repsilla. <laughs> I'm, I'm drunk, Jessica Pizzle, but You yeah. can't tell me. I want Core's opinion on this. You can't tell me Jessica wasn't funny. Jessica was funny. Core. Core. Hmm? <laughs> Are you staying quiet because you know she was funny? And you don't want to admit it? Uh, I'm staying quiet because she was plastered and I don't care. So. But was she? did you laugh? No. You laughed. Anyway. I did oh, not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jessica was funny, and Repzilla was funny, yeah. and they rightfully won. Um, I got a, I got a couple good digs in. I was proud of, but when I saw that chat, fucking, when I saw that chat vote, and I saw they were ahead, I was just like, yes. Oh, I was I was playing Warzone, so that's why I didn't I, I didn't watch that portion. All I cared uh, about was, was who funny. won. So, you know who yeah. I could have asked for? I could ask Vega, right? 
No, he wouldn't have done it. He wouldn't have done <laughs> it. it. No, he wouldn't have done it. I can tell you that right off the bat. Huh. No. no, fair enough. Because he doesn't, he doesn't want to mess with. Uh, around, well, I, I wouldn't. I would assume he wouldn't want to mess around with some of those weirdos. Because, uh, like, fair, yeah. like, like Cobra, for example, probably yeah. would be one of them, and guys like that. So, proceed. Anyways. Right. So fucking. So we get to the finals. We lose the finals. It was. I got a couple digs in. Jessica did really well. Repzilla did. Really, Repzilla had a really good comeback against me. He's the only one that can really use the leg thing, and it'd be a big deal because he never does <laughs> like that. But I do like the fact that he tries to do the whole thing. Like, I do like the fact that he tries to do the whole thing where he's like, uh, "I don't want to call you a pedophile," and I come in like, "Call him a pedophile. Call him a pedophile. He's a pedophile." Uh, it really caught me off guard because he was like, "Yeah, I get hit by a car, but I still got both legs." <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got me, bro. I was like, "Okay." Yeah, it bro. came in like their first like 15 seconds was really strong, and then the rest was probably you guys. I was really confused first... on what to do. I thought it was like they do their roast and then we do it back. I thought it was gonna be like a more organized roast, but no, I guess it was like a free for all. It was like a blood sports, yeah. So, so yeah, so uh, it. congrats to Jessica and Repzilla. Repzilla was uh, nice enough to donate me his winnings. Um, thank you, sir. That wins again. I dude, I asked you Toxic if you want it, like I was legit going to be like I'm going to give the money to Toxic. So you had a chance to be like I was uh, literally like was there no, anything at your house damaged and you're like no. I was like okay. Yeah, yeah there's nothing damaged. What do you want me to lie? Say oh yeah, I'll take the money. Uh, it's tons All of damage. Right. Uh, windows broken. Uh, and that's why Toxic is a good guy, ladies and gentlemen. There you uh, go. But yeah, we uh, so I've won one fireball and I've made it to the finals and I'm going to say this right now. I'm officially retired from Fireball. Next month, I will be nope. sitting back with the boys and watching Fireball. Fireball 4 is five teams of five, and if I somehow get a team, you're on it. I don't no, care. Sir. You, no, beavers, sir. You, Beavers, Brick, Core, me. Five. Boom. Core? What? Oh. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> core, come on. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I said, if somehow I had mm -hmm. a team, it would be me, you, Brick, Beavers, Matt. Right? No. Right? What? You want to do Fireball? No, you, you put you put Brick in there. Uh, of course I wouldn't want to do it with Brick. Because me and Brick have to be a team. Right. It has to happen. And then you get now recording. Two birds. Honestly, one I would rather do me, Core, uh, Toxic, Beavers, and Liana. Come on. That's that's the official now recording team. She's done the most episodes. <laughs> I guess. But I'm not doing it because I'm retiring. So no, you can replace it. me with Liana. So there you, you know, go. You know what? And the best part is, though, <laughs> that you you tweeted out that you're retiring from doing uh, Fireball. And Billy the Fridge reaches <laughs> out. No prompting on my part, uh, by the way. Uh, did, I thought did you did you prompt him? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, and okay. I will show you all my DMs. <laughs> but no prompting on my part. And he says, but what about the next one? I want you to be on my team. And I laughed my monkey ass <laughs> up. Bro. My wife woke up. She's like, <laughs> why did you laugh so hard? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, because I'm psychic. <laughs> Bruh. But in fairness, uh, uh, like I said, if it was me and Billy, we would have won. If it was me and Crip, we would have won. Holy shit. Um, what's up? Um, so you know how I said I was winning Fireball 3? Yeah. I just won the raffle. No oh, fucking way. No, I didn't. You're a fucking dick, dude. You're a fucking dick, bro. You're a fucking dick, dude. That's what you got. Bro, come on. Uh, That's did that get announced, announced by the way? Dude. No, it hasn't been announced yet. Yeah, I'm waiting for the Twitter, the ping. I'm winning. Don't oh. care. Oh, Salvo's in um, Buffalo, so it won't be picked probably until tomorrow. Yeah. Then, yeah. What? Yeah. Bullshit. Uh, last thing I wanted to talk about before we end uh, was let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, there was a Twitter Spaces before the hurricane where uh, uh, what the fuck is his name? Triton. Um, what twice? Yeah, he was on a Twitter Spaces, and I don't remember. It's been a while, so I don't remember the context or anything like that. But he said this: 
But yeah, how Matt Pitt's podcast is shitty, to be honest. So is your yeah, mom, buddy? bro. You should have been swallowed. Who's Thank that? you, Abby. Who's that the was the Abby woman? Blackbird. That was Abby oh, Blackbird defending okay. our honor. Thank you, Abby, for defending the now recording honor. Thank you, Abby Blackbird. All is forgiven, Abby. You hear us? All okay, is forgiven. Yeah, it's all forgiven, it Abby. In, reel it in. <laughs> all is forgiven. Come back reel to us, in. Abby. No, yeah, come um, back so I can simp. Um, one more thing I want to say about Fireball real quick. Fuck you, Lord Triton, little bitch. Um, <laughs> what I get, Salvo, probably had a lot going on during the stream. Yeah. And I'm not going to talk about the, um, the big story with this person. But why did Xylee and Kristen Hart get the same word to spell twice? Uh, yeah, you're the only one that noticed that, by the way. I haven't Bullshit. heard anyone talk about that. Bullshit. They both they got spell, uh, wholeheartedly or whole, wholehearted. Twice. Yeah. You noticed that? I think you noticed something else that happened that night. Yeah, well. I said I don't I don't really care about pointing it out publicly, yeah. but um Cobra did whenever they were spelling that word, um I don't remember the word. He did Monstrosity. Say, like, monstrosity. He did say oh. Um they would have uh, eventually lost, but to be yeah, fair, it would have been, been for a different letter. Well, you know, O U, who cares? Same letter. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, anything? Uh, else? Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say there was a lot of like drama behind the scenes with Fireball too. Yeah. Um, did, did you did you want to talk about at least the the mod team stuff? Uh, yeah, dude. Fucking, I don't know what was going on with the mod team, but uh, when that porn shit happened, uh, I was trying to DM Bex and be like, "Yo, you gotta get get somebody in there, and you gotta let Salvo know." That is protocol for streamers. If they get fucking nudes leaked on the fucking server on the stream with this porn yeah. or something, you got to delete, you got to remove uh, or download it and restart your stream. Yeah, and uh, someone's got to be incredibly careful now because he already he's has got, two strikes. He's got two strikes, bro, and he's on like he's got to be careful with that shit. Yeah. And she just the way she was kind of inter reacting, interacting is, is either she had given up or she just didn't care or I just she I don't. Or she was drunk. That was. I think that I was heard that options. she was drunk. That was three options. The fact that Lizard wasn't there, uh, really fucked them, bro. Because uh, Lizard's really good at what he does, uh, and he's a really good mod for them. And uh, they were just fucking chickens with their heads cut off. And then the next night uh, was complete chaos because uh, there was a there was a drawing round, right? And uh, you got to share your screen during the drawing round, and nobody has permissions to share their screen. Salvo doesn't know this, so he's yelling at everybody to share their screen, and they can't do it. <laughs> so, um, and I'm trying to, uh, I t I'm trying to tell Polis to give them a role so they can share their screen. Just give them a role that allows them to share their screen, and then you take the role away when they leave. So you just yeah. do it one by one, one by one. You know, she gives everybody admin, so now everybody has access to that locked room. So as soon as that happens, uh, I haven't. Uh, I, I kind of saw what happened, but you saw you saw Cobra and them came back in, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why is because he gave everybody admin and they came in. So yeah, everybody has admin now, so anyone can come in there at any point. And uh, at some point, there was a uh, one of the guys in the uh, in the tournament decided to come in with Vito in there and uh, uh, put out a docs that is not his real docs, from what I've been told. But uh, that's pretty fucked that's up. Good. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. So. Uh, it was just complete chaos, and uh, I think Salvo needs to find a producer to help him out. Someone who is, uh, he needs to have a producer in the voice chat with him at he all times to. to mute and just be there to hear what he needs. So if he needs someone to be pulled in, he can pull them in. Uh, if he needs like a, a permission for somebody, he's got that. Like he just needs someone to do that stuff for him so he can concentrate yeah. on the game itself. He needs a core. He needs a core. Yeah. Yeah, you know cool. what? I, I thought about this long and hard. And Salvo, if you pay me, I will deal with your mods and your mod team and your and your wonderful show. Okay. Thank if you pay me, if do you want me to reach out to him, I will. Uh, if he hears this on the podcast, I mean, you could clip so, it and send no. it to yeah. him. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, but I won't. I won't do it unpaid. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I have to. If I have to deal with Polis and other people who don't know what they're doing, There's nothing wrong with Polis. I, Listen, all right. If I have to deal with headaches, then right, then I'm gonna have to be compensated for that. That's all. Yeah. That's all uh, I ask, and I'm not asking for much either. So, yeah, just I actually thought about. I, I thought about doing it myself, and I just I got way too much on my plate to even think about trying to do something as complicated as that. Uh, yeah, 
ain't doing it. Toxic. Isn't like uh, no. Um, <laughs> one more thing I wanted to say about Fireball because I just remembered it because it was really funny. Uh, after yeah. Jessica and Revzilla won, like, whenever he was like um, saying, uh, "Do you guys want to split it or do you want to take all of it?" Uh, he told him to deafen. And then he was yeah. trying to tell him to undeafen him. Yeah, that was the funny was part. Like a full on brick moment. He just started yeah. scream undeafen. Like, oh <laughs> He's so waving. Funny. He's yeah. like waving. At him. And like, <laughs> and fucking like, fucking Jessica's just staring out in the abyss, just like fucking staring out in the space, like nothing's there. Like her, her head is hollow right now. But yeah. Uh, you're, you're de- and you're dealing with drunk Jessica, not yeah. sober Jessica. So. You know, she she's probably just sitting there like, oh yeah, he's probably talking shit. Whatever. <laughs> well, oh, all right, boys, that was Fireball and all that stuff. There, did we miss anything? Uh, I mean, I don't know if you want to talk about the Keemstar tweet, but other than that, not what really. Keemstar tweet? Uh, so Zyli, um is being accused of cheating. Uh, the evidence. I've already explained this on Dead on Dave's show. The evidence in and of itself looks bad, but I personally don't think she cheated because of her reaction. Uh, it really deflated her. It took her out of the whole show. She didn't want to be there. And I feel like if she would have cheated, uh, she would have been fine. You know what I mean? So that was, that's my opinion. Well, and, and, uh, Keemstar on, on, uh, Twitter said, you know, you know, Salvo is joking. He's just trolling, uh, to get, get a rise out of you guys. But yeah. it, it, don't take him seriously. Yeah. Look, it was a big moment. Uh, fucking Zyli kind of like really got angry about it, and when when you do that, you know, Sal was gonna pounce. I guess I don't know. Yeah, he found a way to he found like a way in to get a reaction, like the best reaction yep. possible, which yep. he did. I admire Salvo for uh, sticking to his guns in a sense, and like I probably would have just let that one go. Going after like, oh yeah, kind of. Yeah, I would have just been like, all right, well, Zyli, I, I don't think he cheated. Yep, yeah, I, I wouldn't even said anything. I would have just been yeah. in my head like, I think that looks suspicious. Oh, well, moving on, you know? Yeah, but you get yeah. more attention by stirring the pot, you know? Yeah, and, no, I agree. And, yeah. and getting your audience riled up yeah. to, to be like, all right, let's 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 look for patterns where there there aren't any patterns there whatsoever. Like, people were looking at her glasses yeah. for evidence. Yeah, yeah like, that's funny. Like, what the hell? That's funny. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But I, I talked to Zali. desperate fucks. I talked to Zali personally, like, She's she's good now. She's uh, That's good. She, she was in the moment, bro. It was the game, man. Yeah. People take that game seriously. Here I am trying to fucking get out of it, and fucking people are like Damn. trying to get to those finals, bro. It's a good chunk of change on the line. Why not? Yeah. By the way, Jessica, first woman to win Fireball. Congratulations to her. Okay. Uh, yeah. I see. Now you ruined it. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, uh, thank you for uh, watching. Now recording. Uh, thank you for welcoming us back uh and we uh we appreciate you guys listening to us uh make sure to like subscribe leave a comment leave some criticisms it sucks uh, beavers wasn't here he's probably out fucking a kid or something I don't oh know. wow wow shots fired uh and uh you know uh beavers is probably going to complain about this so uh in the comments uh tell us how much you like beavers and how much you want him on the no, show actually no no don't fuck beavers yeah, don't. he's gone forever actually no he's not gone forever <laughs> Bye guys. Wait, uh, wait, wait. I got a shout out. I got a shout out. O- Ozzy oh, yeah. Wordsmithy. Uh, yeah. I promised her. She made a cake for us uh, on Twitter. Uh, her Twitter is in the description down below. Please go follow her. She made a cake for our monetization. Also, remind Toxic that he has to uh, do his face reveal. Okay. Bye. Bye. Woo! Hey,